In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In holy baptism, Jace Vandenberg was clothed with the robe of Christ's righteousness that covered all his sin. St. Paul says, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O God of grace and mercy, we give thanks for your loving kindness shown to Jason, and to all your servants who, having finished their course in faith, now rest from their labors. Grant that we also may be faithful unto death and receive the crown of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Close as I can 
He who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We hear from St. Paul's epistle to the Romans, chapter 8. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God. Who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? No. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 11th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off. And many of the Jews had come to Mary, Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. But Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. God has made us his people through our baptism into Christ. Living together in trust and hope, we confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace be to each and every one of you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It is unfair that we have to be here today. It is heartbreaking. It is painful. It is brutal. It is just plain wrong that we are here today. Take a page from Jace, I might even say, it ain't right. <laughs> that we have to be in this place with our friend here instead of with us. You know, death seems like something that's on the horizon, doesn't it? Even as you get older, death is this thing that is off in the distance. It's off into the future. It's this thing I can worry about tomorrow. And it seems farther and farther away the younger you are. But then in a moment, in the blink of an eye, in a flash, your world shifts. Your world changes. And then death is staring you in the face. Death doesn't take no for an answer. Death is ugly. And it is vicious, and it ain't right. It is wrong that anybody should be in a casket, let alone somebody so young. It is wrong that we should have to suffer heartbreak. It is wrong that we should have to suffer this kind of pain and grief. This is just flat out wrong. And I'm angry. I'm sure you are too. Because our lives are shattered. And the darkness comes in. And death doesn't relent. Death doesn't care. But I want to read to you today Jace's confirmation verse. It's from John chapter 8 verse 12. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The night before Jace died, he was sitting right back there. He was in this place. He was hearing about Jesus. He was hearing about how even if we lose everything, we still have Christ. Christ. And as a preacher, you never know what someone's last sermon's going to be. You never know what you're going to say to someone before they go. And when I tell people that no matter what happens, Christ is with you, a lot of times I'm not thinking that you're going to die. But then it's possible. And it hurts. But the fact of the matter is that even though we have this darkness in our life, even though we have lost somebody we care so deeply for, someone who we had plans with, someone who we think had such a future, we lose this person, we feel like we are in darkness, we feel like we are lost, we feel like we have this insurmountable pain. And yet, the light of Christ was Jason. He heard the word of life from him. He heard the gospel from him. He heard that message that even though Jace had made mistakes in his life, even though he had, he had sinned, even though you had sinned, that that guy up there on the cross went and died in his place, went and died in your place, and basically spit in the face of death and say, you can't have these people anymore because they don't belong to you. 
And that's what God did for Jace when he baptized him in these waters and said to Jace, you are mine. Death cannot have you. That is what God did for Jace when he fed him on the body and blood of Jesus Christ and said, I have strengthened you and made you mine. Death cannot have you. That is what he said to Jace when he heard the words of God from the scriptures who said, Jace, you are walking in the light of life, not in the darkness of death because of what Christ did for you. And here we are knowing that what has occurred here, my brothers and sisters in Christ, is temporary. It hurts us. It stabs us. It breaks us. But I want you to know without a doubt. I want each and every one of you to know just like Jace did. Just like he heard that night before his death. He heard that when you die this is not a permanent thing. Because Christ has defeated death. That there will come a day where this casket is empty. There will come a day when Christ returns and I pray, come Lord Jesus, come quickly. There comes a day when Christ returns and he will call Jace's name and Jace will come out of this casket and he will be perfect. He will be sinless. He will be without blemish and he will stand side by side with you as you look onto the face of our Lord Jesus Christ and death can be no more. And so not only is this terrible thing temporary, your pain also is temporary. It may not feel like it. It may feel like a nagging, terrible burden that will be with you for a while, for a long time. And I don't want to lie to you and say it'll be quick. And I don't want to lie to you and say it won't hurt. But I will tell you the truth and say there will come a day where it is over. And that is the hope that each and every one of us have in our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. That is exactly why Christ went to the cross. Because when he died, he defeated death by coming back to life. That is exactly what he did for Jace, and that is exactly what he does for you. I know right now we feel defeated. We feel pained. We feel anguish. And we know it ain't right. But through Christ, Jace has the victory. Jace is with our Lord and Savior right now. We are without him, and so we, we weep, we mourn. No, this is temporary. This is not the reality for him. This is not the end for him. And it's not the end for you either. Because just as Christ has claimed victory over death for Jace, he has claimed it over death for you. And you today hear these same words of life that Jace heard that Wednesday evening. That no matter what gets taken away from you, even if it's your own life, you have Christ who has died for you, who has, rise, who has risen for you and promises that you will rise with him one day. God's blessings to you all as we continue to mourn and to grieve but also know that peace and assurance, it ain't right but it's only temporary. He's coming back and so will we. Amen. May the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. We sing our hymn.
Let us pray to the Lord our God and Father who raised Jesus from the dead. Almighty God, you have knit your chosen people together into one communion in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to newness of life, and so pass with him through the gate of death and the grave to our joyful resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that all who have been nourished by the holy body and blood of your Son may be raised to immortality and incorruption and be seated with him at your heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give to the family of Jace and to all who mourn comfort in their grief and assure confidence in your loving care, that casting all their sorrow on you, they may know the consolation of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give courage and faith to the bereaved, that within the communion of your church they may have strength to meet the days ahead in the assurance of a holy and certain hope and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love who have departed in the faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and find comfort in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive our thanks for Jace and for all the blessings you bestowed on him in this earthly life. Bring us at last to our heavenly home, that with him we may see you face to face in the joys of paradise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God of all grace, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to bring life and immortality to light. We give you thanks that by his death he destroyed the power of death, and by his resurrection, he opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Strengthen us in the confidence that because he lives, we shall live also. And that neither death, nor life, nor things present, nor things to come, will be able to separate us from your love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Remember us in your kingdom, Lord. And teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, how will it be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. He who believes in me will live even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. He who believes in me will live even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. We go forth in peace in the name of the Lord. Amen. At this time, we will head out to the cemetery for the committal service. You are invited to attend with us if you so desire. God's blessings to you all.